Greetings, my dear friends, and welcome back, where we embark on an exciting journey into the enchanting world of Call of Dragons. Kinara is a legendary hero from Call of Dragons. White green eyes and horns on her head give her an intimidating and arrogant look. The character has marksmanship, control, and PV palant branches. It is great for any events and activities in the game, deals a huge amount of damage, and significantly strengthens the Legion of Shooters. If you have Kinnar on your team, it is advisable to use her when capturing behemoths. Due to her incredible damage dealing ability, she is capable of inflicting massive damage on the behemoth from a distance. This can give you an advantage in battle and increase your chances of winning. The reason that Kanara is really strong is of course because of her skills and she does single target damage. The first skill here does 1400 damage factor and makes it so the target deals 15 less damage for 5 seconds that is a wicked duff and remember Kanara is a debuffing hero this will be super relevant. Let's begin discussing the impressive skills of the Kanara. When you start up Kanara, you also unlock a new skill. This helps you fine tune in what order you want to upgrade the skills of your heroes as not all skills are equally good and worth maxing or worth maxing first in general. This helps to invest your sculptures more reasonably to get the biggest bang for your buck. The first skill, Rattlesnake Strike, Kinnara deals damage to the enemy legion and also reduces the damage inflicted by the enemy. So, she deals physical damage up to 1400 and decreasing all damage they deal up to 15%. The second skill, Provocation. While in the field, Kinnara's legion deals 20 more normal attack damage and takes up to 10 less hero skill damage. Now, the way that normal attack damage works is it's the damage that you deal when you are directly targeting someone and the damage you deal when someone is targeting you that's called counter attack damage. And that's a part of what you get from a normal attack damage boost. The third skill, Hunter Space. All marksman units in Kinara's Legion gain up to 30 physical attacks. Wow, that's nice! And we're not done. The fourth is skill Gratuitous Violence. When Kanara's Legion is attacked, she has a 20% chance to gain physical repost and inflict slow on the target, increasing her Legion's physical counter-attack damage up to 30% and also reducing the target's march speed by 20%. So this is both a debuff onto the enemy and the buff onto herself, which is important. You'll notice that every single skill is good in the open field here, which is why she is in my estimation better than Nico. although Nico you can get from gold keys. So if you're not spending, he is a really nice pickup. Contrastingly, Kanara is very good because all her skills are good in the field. The Awakened Skill Jawbreaker, when Kanara's Legion launches a normal attack, they have a 20% chance to inflict defense break on the target Legion, reducing their defense by 20% for 3 seconds. Now, your sweet spot of skills to make this hero useful is 5511. Now, let's talk about the best talents tree for Kanara. It is advised to use the control tree since it seems perfect for the character. Pick overall attack, then pick overall speed, then overall health, and finally pick backstabber. And from control branch, pick overall speed, then pick overall attack, then head health high, then choose soul siphon. If you have later enough points, give 5 points to egoism. Pick blind sight, then pick ambush. I think this is the best one, pick lucky stars. Finally, we choose reticence. Now, if you have more talent points, I suggest you to go for PvP branch, pick the overall attack, the overall speed, and then pick the high spirits. Then choose army of valor. 
with Kinar, you see a ton of talent builds around. But I honestly don't think they will be as close when it comes to open field versatility than this one here. You will unlock the core node Backstabber, which gives a nice extra damage boost. And if you pair Kinara with a secondary hero like Nico, this will be applied pretty much as much as possible with the 5 seconds cooldown. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to the channel for more exciting content. Your support means the world to us.